Hi all, you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see how to implement histogram script in Simulink. So we are going to use the same script that we used in earlier tutorial of MATLAB scripting of histogram and histogram stretching. But this script is a little bit different from the previous one. So I'll show you how it is different. So let's start. So in old script, the stretched image matrix that is this one stretched underscore image this one is not initialized before this for loop so its size and what default values it is made up of is not initialized here so this is the old script so if you look at the new script so here the stretched underscore image matrix is initialized to zeros of size m comma n. So the matrix of m by n size of zeros is stretched underscore image. So this is initialized here and in for loop as the values of m and n increases the values for that particular location is updated as per this mathematical formula and in old script that is not initialized okay so initialization is important when you write it for simulink model okay then the second difference is that figure plotting functions such as figure in bracket 2 then 3 then i am show then if we go down here the same that is data plotting function all these are commented since they are not supported for code gen then the third difference is that i haven't added the contrast calculations here since it was added for understanding purpose in the old script okay and now that we know what it is and we can identify that stretched histogram image has higher contrast as compared to the non stretched histogram image and I'm using the same image that we used in the old script okay so last but the most important point that this new script is written in the form of function so if we go on top then we can see here it is in the form of function okay so y is the output of this function and histo underscore image is the name of this function and u is input to this function now if we go to the simulink model so we have used this matlab function block and inside that this function that we were discussing is written okay so u is the input to this matlab function block which is the output of this image from file block now if i double click on this block we can see here that is file name so if we browse here then we can select whichever image we want to use for the processing okay so i have selected this landscape okay this cancelling here since it is already selected so the name comes with its path and file name and its extension okay then the output of this matlab function block that is y is provided to this video viewer block so that we can observe the image output okay now going back to the script so if we go to the bottom of the script the output y is image underscore mat and stretched underscore image together so the original image data and the stretched image data are concatenated and together it forms the final output that is y so i'm not going to explain the processing of the script here again to see the processing logic you can watch this scripting video to do that click on the eye icon on the right corner of your screen or you can click on the link in the description below so that's how simple it is so this image reading block then matlab function block for processing and video viewer block to observe the final output okay and this simulink model is ready so for this model the solver is fixed tape and ode8 solver so let's simulate this model 
and see the result i'm just pausing here since we have this output here since it is not in the video form but it's just an image okay so we are getting the result and model is simulating without error and the stretched image has higher contrast as compared to the original image so the first one is the original image and the second one is a processed image okay so this video was for just implementing the processing script in simulink model so if you want to know what histogram is and how to apply the processing and the stretching logic on the histogram you can refer the earlier video i have shared the link in the description okay so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning